Well, we have our incredible guest still with us on the couch this afternoon. Of course, personal and professional branding expert, also four-time best-selling coach, uh, and of course, author, rather, and coach, life coach, I would say you are. Uh, Timothy Maurice Webster in studio with us. We've got our seven-year-old entrepreneur, Raiz, with Killing his the camera. Game. And then, of course, our local hero here as well, Yasin Abrams. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, so good to have you all on the couch. Now, Timothy, I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit. We've got our young entrepreneur doing amazing things, learning from a young age the value of money and earning his own money. And of course, we've got Yasin, who's doing incredible things for the elderly pay, uh, pensioners in sure. his community and helping them be mobile and making a difference in, the, in their lives. How would you help them set up their personal brands? So first of all, I mean, what Yasin is doing is extremely inspiring. He and I had a chat behind the scenes for him, it's about collaboration yeah. because he needs partners to be able to roll this out at some level of scale. Mm. And he has everything inside of him to be able to take it to the next level. <clears throat> and what he's, the world revolves around people with heart like this. Yes. The, we are because of people who have hearts like this. And um, I'm moved because the ability, the ability for him to partner with people, and I'm going to share some conversation with him about mm -hmm. how to structure himself to make yeah. sure the systems are in place to be able to attract partnerships. Yeah. Um, and uh, so we're going to have that conversation, but it's That's really about systems important. and structures to Absolutely. make sure that he can roll it out. That's amazing. I, I hope that you have that conversation. And then, of course, this incredible little man here. When I was seven, I was still playing with Barbies and marbles, yes. and you out here <laughs> making that money, honey. That is so cute. How, what yeah. would you say the future holds for him? I mean, this, this is the type of kid that will sort of be known globally that mm -hmm. makes South Africa proud. Yes. Yes. He has that kind of curiosity, yeah. that kind of energy. I mean, when I first greeted him, I high-fived him. He just lit up. And you can just tell some people are kind of born with it. And he's got a great mom. I met his mom behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And I would say just stay curious because at this stage, you don't want to start forcing him down a particular alley. Allow him to continue to create, continue to sort of be attracted to things that move him yeah. and, you know, while having some structures around him. But not try to box him too much. Let him explore the world and experience, put him in spaces to let him come alive and see yeah. what he's attracted to. That is yeah. amazing. What is up in the next few months for you? What do you have so, in the cards? Yeah, I'm working on a... Uh, concept, you know, a, a couple books, but one that I'm really passionate about is called The Fertility Effect. And it's really about why we consume as consumers. Okay. This idea that we're all trying to sort of measure ourselves against our most fertile self. Mm -hmm. It's it, We need to have another show about this. Wait, okay, okay. Well, we are going <laughs> to put the invitation out there yeah. for another show. 100%. Yes, yeah, I wanted to ask you, there's a dream that you have, a personal dream that you have. Do you want to share that with us? My personal dream is to take my whole story to the next level, like this shit. Mm -hmm. And with the, with the right help that I can get anybody out there in the whole South Africa, yeah. like I said, come on board, help me with my project. Yeah. And we change the face of public transport for the elderly in every single community, because I'm not just looking at my own community. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for every single community out there where public transportation is available for pensioner people and for the rest of the community. And I mean, nobody ever done this before of offering free rides in the taxi for elderly people. Yeah. That's why it went so viral. And I never expected all of this to happen to me. Wow. Yeah. So this is a really a dream for me. Wow. Yeah. And I know I'm getting to it very slowly, but surely, and I'm going to reach it. Amen. And once I'm going to reach my dream, I'm going to come back to you guys. And thank you one, once again for having me on your show. Yeah. Because this is actually the first time I'm on, on TV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're doing but, so well. Yeah. That's so awesome. Awesome. And I was okay. also going to say, when you do amazing things, amazing things will also happen, happen to, to you. you yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is the only thing that I can give back. I mean, I don't have money. Otherwise, I should have bought my own way long time already. Yeah. I live by ankle mouth. Sure. Every day. And ever since my mom passed away, life is very tough without the woman in your life. Yeah. 
Here, here, words to live by, just saying. Yeah. Thank you so much, Yasin, for that. You know what, I, I, I see the future as being very, very bright for you. Um, you're still going to achieve amazing things and who knows what could come from this yeah, you know yeah. who knows the type of support that's going to come from yeah. this but there's another young man that's sitting right in the middle there that uh, purchased us purchased a camera with money that was supposed to be used for a hover a hoverboard and at this young age he was able to differentiate between a need and a want and something that could actually push him further in life and he actually took photos of us and this is little Raisa's work that is this oh, gorgeous wow. Gorgeous individual hair. What Who an amazing culture, Who is You're so, so single and ready to mingle. And uh, oh, Palessa. <laughs> okay, so Looking you did so like good. an action thing with me. Hey, you did it like a, a motion picture. <laughs> You guys should make these your profile shots. <laughs> this will Definitely. be actually, this Definitely. weekend I am changing it and this is going to be my profile picture. And I can see you've got your little yo your logo going on in the corner. Did you see that? Yeah. With your name and the little karate emblem, you're looking amazing. Right, is what if somebody wants you to come and take photos at their wedding? Would you be available for that? Um, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get there. We'll you get never there. say no to a job, honey. That is money. You should know already about money and the way it doesn't grow on trees. So you should take up any gig that comes to you. Trust me, you're good for it. <laughs> well, thank you you're so much, for gentlemen, for being Thanks, on the guys. show today. Any last words from yeah. you, our coach, this afternoon? You've been really wonderful, Timothy. Thank you so much for sharing so much insight because mm -hmm. I do believe uh, that personal and professional branding is so important, but I don't know if the audience out there knows that it's not only about celebrities and politicians. Each one of us in our own right are walking out with a billboard mm -hmm. that is a reflection of who we are. Yeah, I, I would say to everyone, Follow your heart, and wherever you've experienced challenge, pressure, struggle, something has been produced. Yeah. Yeah. So every time you've been torn, you've gone through pain, it's producing something beautiful. Mm -hmm. Because on the other side of that, and I don't want to start preaching, but I will say this, that you know, when I had a girl in 13, when I was 13 years old, I had a, who I had a crush on. Yeah. And she wouldn't even look at me. I don't, you probably never had that problem. But <laughs> you know when you have a crush on somebody and they don't even notice you? So I had one of those situations and I started writing mm. because I couldn't understand why she was ignoring me. And I went through this whole internal dynamic and I started writing, I started writing, I started writing and my writing became good. So the wow. fact that she ignored me produced wow. a best-selling author. Wow. And I would say whatever is happening, whatever you've been torn, look at what it's producing inside of you. Yeah. And that's mm. where the treasures are. That is powerful stuff. That is powerful stuff. You see, that's why we have the best of the best of the best on Often and Express. Thank Timothy, you thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for, you so much for being here, little Raiz. You're doing so well, my friend. You really, really are. And don't worry, I'm still going to pay you for that uh, cashew brittle that I had there. <laughs> <laughs> Your money is not going with two ways, trust me. We'll pay you. <laughs> yes, you, thank you so much for being with us today. And I, I, have, a, I have a feeling that we're going to see you very, very yeah. soon. And thank you, Leanne, for joining us once again as an amazing co-presenter, guest presenter on Afternoon thank Experience. You. You're doing an amazing job. I know they probably miss you in the afternoons, wherever you run off and go hide. Aww. But we, you're always welcome on this Can couch. we give a round thank of applause? You. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. It's been wonderful hanging out with you. This truly is such a special, special place. We hope that you enjoyed Afternoon Express. And remember, you've got a date with us every single day at 4.30 p.m.